Hi, welcome to Cardad Gaming, and today we're playing They Are Here, Alien Abduction Horror. But we won't be playing the demo today, we'll be playing the prologue. So the demo came out a couple of years ago. Uh, it was really good, I enjoyed it, but I didn't play it on the channel. Um, didn't have it back then. So let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video and you want me to see and you want to see me play the demo because I'll happily play it on the channel. It's good stuff. And um, oh, the, they also made Rootman, which I have played on the channel. It was really good, really enjoyed it. So I really like their style of games and I hope they do really well. So with that, let's just jump on the game. Prologue tells the story of the first UFO contact that happened 30 years ago, or before the event shown in the demo version. The main character is Private Michael Anderson, who serves at a military parade brace <laughs> base near Gray's Wood Farm. By chance, he becomes a witness of terrible, inexplicable events. Ooh, start loading. Do 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 do. F four space August. Delta, this is Alpha. All right. We've an unidentified object at two hundred seventy degrees, twenty miles moving fast. Do you copy? Over. <laughs> Shit, yeah. This is so high quality. Negative. I'll try to get in touch. You entering controlled airspace. Nice. What are your intentions? Introduce yourself. <laughs> get wrecked. We're an alien. We don't understand you. No answer. Switching to heat control. This is so good. Pushing down. <laughs> and the uh, voice acting is really good. That's a good sign. Delta. Communication lost. I try radio on different frequency. Alpha calls data. Unidentified object begins pushing. Ten seconds to land. Saying again. Ten seconds to land. Over. <laughs> Shit, yeah. Roger. Sending response team. D squad. Michael Anderson. <laughs> we meet again, Mr. Anderson. Alright, that was a really good intro. Fuck yeah. I am sold. Seriously, I really like this style of games they do. They are very kind of realistic and very creepy. <laughs> yep. They have a really good... Um, oh. This is base. The object is landed. Your task is to identify the object without contact. Omega without contact. Team will arrive in one minute. We'll conduct surveillance from the orbit. Drive with care. Report when you arrive. Okay. So I meant to go this way or something? I read you five by five, sir. Out. I'm gonna go with the lights pointing me this way, but I reckon it'd be very interesting to see what's that way. Shit, yeah. Loop. Okay, so we're going off-road then. <laughs> so, yeah, like, uh, the when they make these games, like, Rootman has this really kind of, like, realistic style as well. Um, and, like, you basically, like, cops going to investigate a call-out or something. But, uh... This is Omega. We see you. We are monitoring. Okay. I'm on board. I got some military backup. Yeah. Okay. So, ooh. I'm not going to follow the helicopter. That seems like the best plan. <laughs> when in doubt, follow the only thing that looks like a, a marker. Also, this clearly looks like it's been designed to uh, go up and there as well. All right. So, like, everything about this is really well made. Like, the intro was high quality, they got really good voice acting, uh, the graphics are good, the setup, like, the setup and story is really nice as well. Like, a, horror, a lot of uh, these indie horror games just kind of slap a game at you and go, here's your game, and that's fine. Um, but I feel that, ooh. Oh, Mager, this is Michael Anderson. I report radiation detected. Indicator is average. Here's Michael Anderson. Here's my very bad attempt at American accent. 
Roger that. We're all quiet here. Um, but yeah, I feel like games when they add like a little bit of story, uh, it makes the game really hit hard. You know, it's like a game with a interesting gameplay mechanic is fine, but you add a little bit of story to it and it like elevates it so much. We're going silent. Uh, <laughs> we see blue light. <laughs> I really like the uh, accent. <laughs> I don't know what accent that is, but I like it. We see blue light. <laughs> My really bad attempt. But to be fair, I think my bad attempt isn't much worse than an American person going, Hello, I'm a British person. So, yeah, it's all good. <laughs> oh. Let's take a screenshot again. What the hell is going on? Oh, no. Radiation levels are rising. Over. It got worse. It got worse. <laughs> Base, can you hear me? You reckon? Yeah, I think there's some kind of anomaly here too. Nah, uh, nah, I'm going full, full ham. <laughs> Let's go run at it. So, oh. Oh. <laughs> Shit, yeah. What is going on there? Oh. Uh, what is going on? So I got blue light. It's going to the ravine. So we need to stop this operation. Why? Movement. Omega, fly away. Michael Anderson, oh. protocol. Oh shit! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck yeah! What's going on? <laughs> and it got dark. Literally. Can anyone hear me? Over. Can anyone answer? Let's enter switch to night vision. Oh shit. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just gonna keep walking this way. I don't like being lost there. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm meant to be following this bleep or not. Okay, that d does not read. Oh god, multiple bleeps. Oh shit. Uh, oh, this is very reminiscent of Scarlet Hollow. If you haven't seen Scarlet Hollow, watch my playthrough of it. There's uh, well, let's just say spoilers, but there's something very similar to this. Oh, we got tentacles. Oh! Oh shit. Oh no. No, no, no. Um. Oh, fuck me, there's a fucking spaceship. <laughs> there's me going, I don't know where to go! And there's a big ass fucking UFO next to me. Uh. Well, you know what? I think I'm gonna go to the UFO. 
<laughs> I don't think I even need the uh, night vision. Oh, oh my. What is this? Uh... <laughs> the R's and pirates are here. Uh, no, let's just fucking go. Unbelievable. Uh, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. Don't like this. Oh, that was definitely a fucking alien. Uh. Hello. Oh. Hell no, there are. A lot of dots. Um. Shit, 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 shit. Can I just go down here? Kind of. No. Um, that glands in here. I think I want to get the fuck out of here. Um, uh, uh. oh. Made me jump. They are here. Production horror. <laughs> so, prologue. In the full game, you will learn how the events of the prologue are related to the Grey's Wood Farm and the story of Taylor Fox. Add the game to your wish list so you don't miss out. Right. Don't know if there was more to the prologue and I just died, but uh, you wait. That's uh, that's the teaser I'm giving you. It's really good. Uh, really like that. I'm I'm stoked for it. I can't wait for the game to come out. Um, so like I said before, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see me play the actual demo. Uh, it's very good. And um, yeah, with that, I hope you're having a lovely day, and I hope to see you again sometime soon. Take care.